Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and we're back with a reaction. It's been about a day because I just needed a break basically, but I'm feeling good, man. Like, from like the one day break, it's just weird how you get so much energy, etc. And now I'm actually excited to see this video because I've done, my last baseball reaction was the not so serious baseball part one. And that was about a week ago. So I've not done baseball reactions in quite a long time and I want to definitely get back into doing more of them because I do enjoy the sport. I've just found myself looking at a few other things in NASCAR, but soon it will work out and I'll get back to getting like, consistent uploads of all sport reactions, basically. But this one is MLB Not So Serious Baseball Part 2. And yo, man, I'm excited for this. First, like, the part one was actually, like, it was just fun to see because, like, I was seeing players, like, do things I've never seen in sport. And because of how the the stadiums are shaped and sort of how the the field is, it's just, like, the players sort of, like, you'll have one of the, the benches there and one of the benches here and they're just all like playing with each other and I don't know <laughs> that sounds really wrong That's, uh, I just think it's quite funny how some of the things they do and also like they just set fire to each other's like legs and just things like that I just think it's pretty cool but why did I say that <laughs> let's just get into it but I'm excited to see what other things I like will be in here or if it's just like sort of the same sort of kind of things but let's just get into it of record now for the Cubs will be lifted for a pinch hitter. That's Jonathan Herrera deep to right. Way back into the basket, a home run. Wait, what? Basket? Is that what it's called? Or is there like actually a basket there? Oh, we've got a variety of home runs here today, don't we? Longest of the year, grand slam, and how about pinch hit? The hitters have been busy out in the field. Carlos the Carrasco hell? and Trevor Bauer have been busy doing something for the one and only Jose Ramirez. <laughs> what the it's hell? A big day today as you see this baseball. You said you needed color, guys. Well, color is now a part of the <laughs> Give ball. it a baseball yeah. haircut. Yeah. What the heck is going on? I don't know. Look, he's shaping it up for him and everything else. That's, that is absolutely beautiful. Give him a haircut. As Trevor said, <laughs> Jose never gets a haircut, so they figured they'd give him one with this. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Wait, is that a baseball? Bloody hell. Seeing the reactions of the people, and I think Jason what the heck? This they're actually pretty sick as well. In the season, the players should be in about let's do this together, Cleveland. He wants the fans. And How the long would they be on the bench for? Because you have to be in, like quite a long time to have the time to make something that easy. <laughs> Look at all of them. I'm guessing they're all like different players. Players to be like you know connected as one, moving <laughs> forward and trying to accomplish this goal. That's pretty so, sick. If this is a way we can kind of contribute to that and help bring the fans closer and like get them, get them involved with. What that's pretty sick. I, I actually like that a lot. That's a, that's a good thing. Oh, well, look at that. The artwork continues. Good to go here. Reynolds hits it on the ground. <laughs> did you see <laughs> what Starlin did? That's what great. Chris Bryant replay. made the play. And... <laughs> Castro mimicked it. He's, 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 he's rehearsing just in case he made the play. He's staying with it. <laughs> Double pump. Oh, I love oh, it. For God's sake. That's fun. Hey, well, muscle memory, I guess. It's like a globe trial. Literally in time. What the hell are they tied? Oh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what are they even using? Is that like a bandage? Oh, that's beautiful. Sellotape. <laughs> No, my guy, see a part of my <laughs> Portugal. I want to see a breakout. Hopefully, it shows that. Took Pedro, Pedro and taped him to the pole. <laughs> They're probably getting him. Now, uh, somebody on our crew just asked a very good question. What happens when the batter hits a line drive right into that dugout? Oh, man. One of them better dive in front of Pedro. <laughs> he is. That's the important stuck. part with Pedro. Taping his mouth shut. And this is the only way you could possibly keep <laughs> him quiet or in one spot for any longer than a minute. <laughs> so I'm guessing something led up for this to happen. Then. <laughs> what the heck? Six to Yo, that is just mental. That's so random. I love it. Wait for Eduardo Rodriguez, but he doesn't mind. He now has a six-run lead. He's been tired. Well, uh, a la Pedro Martinez, it looks like Henry Owens has been taped to the pole in the. Oh, so this is a quite. I thought that this thing might have just happened once. The fact that I've seen this another time, which is pretty crazy. The fact that people get like. 
taped to poles more often than one must pole. have been talking too much apparently they had enough to the pole oh and they just they just, they just might even talk to him he's just on his own going. It's followed by a walk to Mitch Moreland and Carlos Gomez three run home run slowly hit up the middle the second they get one back to first in time for the double play handily turned <laughs> step it back <laughs> Away from door. <laughs> Is it one of five, mate? <laughs> well, we're going to go down to the tribe dugout right now where we're joined by Indians pitcher Corey Kluber, who tuned in another terrific performance last night. Yeah, I mean, I think there was obviously an important game for us. Um, you know, playing that, we didn't want to fall any further behind than we already are, but what? at the same time, you know, trying not to. Why is he not even reacted? He's just not even. Does he just not notice or is he just trying to stay as professional as possible because he's talking to, on like live TV? Trying not to uh, put too much pressure on ourselves and make it more <laughs> than it is just one game. Oh boy, I can hear it raining already down there. Yep, it started. Yeah, I mean, they're they're a very <coughs> aggressive team, but you know, I think they're even better when they're ahead in the count and they're able to kind of hone in on the pitch they want. Uh -huh. um, so I almost use that aggressiveness. <laughs> is that someone advantage. doing that? That's not yeah, I mean, natural, is it? The middle of their lineup with him and... <laughs> yeah, Baker, that's tough. Uh, it's really <laughs> it's probably not a stuff better... you do at school, but you know, I love back it. Hitters, especially with how hot they are right now. Um, <laughs> Yo, fair play to him, though. He's not reacting whatsoever. They still get their hits, so you just kind of... <laughs> you have to try your best not to let that affect you. <laughs> Look at the composure of this guy, folks. Exactly. Fouls it out of play. Corey, what, uh, you know, what do you think a win like that last night does for the ball <laughs> club? The rain jacket. Um, I mean, hopefully it, hopefully it gets us a little bit of momentum and something to build off of. Um, <laughs> I want to see the players doing that. I want to see the players doing that. I wish you, like, sort of zoomed out and you could see them, like, throwing or whatever they're doing, like, spraying water on them. But I love it, man. Just the playful moves. It's just... I mean, that shows that you're playing when for guys put the ball I love in it. Playoff, you're there hitting what the hell is that? On the very first pitch, but you go at him with a fastball. And how is he not reacting? Well, you don't walk him. Yeah, I mean, I would. If a guy's gonna swing at the first pitch, um, <laughs> you know, you kind of take your chance. He's not even flinching. He's not even moving. According to the way that you know a certain the composure of this man. Like Jeez. I, mean, I, think, I think the big thing is to kind of stick with your strengths and. You know, yes, it's like them talc powder. That wouldn't be talc powder. Chalk? Maybe chalk? I'm not too sure what that is. And it's not cocaine. <laughs> it's definitely not that. They had a marching band. They had an honor guard. And uh, there are one, there's one player from each team not about to leave the field. We got ourselves a good old-fashioned standoff <laughs> going on right here between Barnes and Barry. Oh, not a standoff. If you remember the NLCS last year with Joe Kelly and Scott Van Slyke, they did it, but right now before the ball game, teammates helping Barrett out. Rick Shue giving him some water. Gio Gonzalez fanning him down. Barnes has gotten sunscreen <laughs> and a lot of support from his teammates. And How long do you reckon they actually do this for? They've been out there for a good five, six minutes. At least. Easy. Yeah. And that looks scorching it. hot as well. You know, you're standing out there in the sun. It's a hot day. You could probably use a little sunscreen, right? Jerry Blevins <laughs> coming out, providing the what sunscreen guy. for Aaron Barry. <laughs> That's great it's stuff. Good to see two teams and this, fun. this is live. I mean, they're <laughs> still out there. The band and the color guard's been off the field for at least five minutes. Well, Barnes is further out than Barrett. Barrett right by the dugout. Barnes is on the grass. So, so who's got the advantage then? Great so, stuff. So one standing there, one standing there. Oh, so it's quite an even actually. Like, it is. Honestly, they're just they're just as far from the, the batter as possible. Because last time I think it was like an uneven. Oh, excuse me. There's Barry. Yeah, yeah there. that circle. Oh, so he's a bit further away actually. Chris Conway well, the game's about to start, so Aaron Barrett put a helmet on. Just like the <laughs> base coach he's got. And look, Barnes wants to do rock, paper, rock, scissors, paper scissors to see who leaves the field. First. He's not having any of that, mate. He's not having any of that. <laughs> he's getting all his gear on. And he's got nothing broken. Nobody Nobody said a word to anything. There's no way they can let him stand there, can they? I mean, Barnes is on the field. Yeah. Now, Denard Spann steps out. First base umpire, Jordan Baker, just whistled. At Brandon Barnes and told him to get off the field. Well, this is going to be everywhere and every highlight reel all night long. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are these like the classic captains? I don't know what they call them in 
in baseball are they ca- the captains like the sort of not the manager but the person that like, the player that's the, the leader basically what's the player that's that leads like how do i explain it because i don't think they call them captains in american sports basically the player who's so you've got the manager then you've got a player who leads he sort of like the sets the example for the other players i'm guessing they're like the sort of the captains or however you whatever terminology it is of those players because i'm uh, oh i don't even know what i'm saying I, try, I, I know what I'm trying to say, but I can't get it out. But I assume they're the most like, sort of influential players on the team. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's have Ladies begin. and gentlemen, we have another standoff on the field tonight. First one since Aaron Barrett won it in Colorado last year. That's Aaron Harang on the left. He's got some catcher's gear on, and we'll see who gets, well, off the field first. <laughs> it was Brandon Barnes He's in Colorado got some last year against protective Aaron stuff Barrett, on. But Aaron Harang is winning this one for me. Look at him. Starting pitcher. He's got full catcher's gear on. Yeah, he's, he's definitely the, with him. They just threw him the glove, so he didn't have the glove. Now he's got the glove. Aaron Barrett going rally helmet on backwards. And this is how the weekend is starting. I love it. So we have a good old fashioned standoff here. How Aaron frequent Ray, is the standoff? The it's my favorite to have to get off the field first because he's on the grass edge of the warning track. And Aaron Barrett's right up against his dugout rail. And third base umpire Bruce Dreckman's not liking this. Yeah. I really like because it's like a mental warfare. Like whoever stands up first <laughs> and goes first. There. Aaron Barrett is ignoring the umpires. Max wow. Scherzer is ready. Oh my goodness. And they're both still on the field. They're standing on the field. And Ben Revere is stepping out and wondering what in the world is going on. And Aaron Harang is not budging. Now Scherzer walks off the mound and the crowd started to catch on. <laughs> All right. They're going to go ahead and pitch. Who's going first? First pitch. On the pen of it, then. Aaron Harang leaves and hey. Aaron the winner. And the oh, so he actually lost that match. one. Barrett is 2 0, folks. He is undefeated and still. Even though he was wearing all that protective gear, but to be fair, he was the one who was on the field. But why couldn't he just step back a little bit and not be on the field? Because surely that would be alright then, or can he just not be in the, the field of view, basically? I guess. And a beautiful Monday afternoon, Labor Day here, as the Pirates turn to Chad Cool. And even though they've lost six in a row, <laughs> they trying music. What the hell? The I was never expecting to see them. anything like this. Today's point. another day and a chance to win and a chance to beat the team that stands where the Pirates want to be at right now. That's the second wild <laughs> card spot. Too. Yeah, these three games are going to be huge, and uh, we're talking about it in the open. We'd love to make a statement. <laughs> He's going for it, though. Kind of opens the door to a lot of things. But uh, <laughs> happy uh, Labor Day to you and your family, Joe. And uh, Thank you. You too. Let's uh, hope that we can all. What's he even playing? Uh, Is that just like a... you beat uh, Wainwright? You beat the Cardinals. Uh, everybody's going to feel like. He's got a proper room to it, though. Whatever he was shaking, I'm interested in what was in there. Look at that view. Pittsburgh, oh my days, look at that. It's the same, oh, it's the same with it. Let's <laughs> get another one now. Is this while the game's going on, or is this like when there's a break? Because... <laughs> He seems so focused on this, and if the game is going on, he just don't seem to care what's going on. Bro, this is so mind blowing to me. They wear an animal <laughs> Chicken, that's a horse, that's an owl. That's a... Not a horse. What's the, what's the horse with a... The thing on its head? Oh, that's annoying. How have I forgot that? Oh, that's going to annoy me. Costume competition. Yeah, yeah, breaking out some... Wait, what are they? Like they're getting ready to knock off a bank or something. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's synchronization as well. I'm in back's counter with a little bowling. They're playing bowling. <laughs> <laughs> Over in 10 pin. Oh, so they're competing really with each other. Yeah. Okay. They're opposite teams as well. They yielded enough. to the Diamondbacks that particular competition. Ground buttons. 
<laughs> He's screaming at him going up the line. Come to take it easy. <laughs> One out. Routine ground ball to Kyle. Beltre has had some leg issues. Take it, easy. Step, take it easy. Slow down. <laughs> hey, give and take. Gary, how about uh, our umpires behind the plate? We've got a couple that are helping Andy Fletcher uh, this afternoon. All dressed in blue, calling pitch by pitch Ooh. in the front row behind the plate. They're hilarious. <laughs> Three and one. <laughs> To make this call. Look at they're intently watching. Working as <laughs> Wait, hard as Fletcher. What behind it. Duda gets jammed and pops one up into shallow right. And yeah, Hunter Pence puts it away, two out. <laughs> Wait, they take the mask what? off. They two down. Why are they wearing the, the mask thing. behind they it? They got the numbers on their sleeves. They got the. Uh, the are they actually fans? So they got oh. the shirts just right. Yeah, that's quite funny, actually. I rate that. He's gone time. full, like, dress code. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm actually surprised be a, that they're allowed to sit there, because, I mean, obviously they should be allowed, but with how sports is nowadays, any sort of things that are seen as interference with play, they try and just sort of, maybe they'll move them up a few seats or just make them take off the... Protective gear basically, but fair play that they're letting them actually continue because this is something different, man. <laughs> Especially from a fan's perspective. Lewicki hits one deep to left field. Back goes Max. Oh, this is actually stacked as well. The whole thing. Makes the grab to end the inning. <laughs> I was back to minor league camp. Drill deep to left field. There it goes. See ya. Well, I'm proud of that. Home run for Castro. Three one Yanks. And then it's an in-depth interview, and Castro answers all the questions very politely as you do. What are they doing? <laughs> Wait, are they using the cleaning thing as a camera? Oh my days. Deep drive, right field. <laughs> See I don't even know what to expect at this point. Cover. It's the most as random stuff. Back back and lead four to one. <laughs> okay. Again. Now they have not this is yes two, a little known network. Bro, I can't get over the cleaning thing, that is hilarious. Is Tereus, and and then they're using the cups as the microphone. He's just throwing just threw eyes at him as well. So many adverts. Well, get your money, mate. I, I appreciate that. Come on, there's a minute left. I'm definitely pop three, three man. Lefties. Because this stuff is just so fun to watch, man. I love it. It's just a different sort of in look in the sport. And they're going to record him again. <laughs> what, the view, I'm sorry? Of course they are. They get it prepared every time. Whenever there's a home run, mate, you sure get in an interview. Oh, the fans can actually see them doing it. Oh, that's pretty sick. So I thought these sort of these um, where the players were like hidden away. They can actually see them from over there. Look at yep, the shot he's getting. He's getting it coming down the dugout, which is very good right before the interview. Uh, Kevin Cash, we're going <laughs> he's to so it again. This call to the bullpen brought to you by Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. More science, less fear. Getting on the chair to get the good shot. Yo, man, I love these videos so much. They're just so random, but like, when I started reacting to baseball, I would never expect to see things like this. Like, players just like pretending to do interviews with toilet, not say toilet, cleaning stuff and cups and just random stuff like that. It's just so, it's just so unique. But I'm actually like really loving this sort of side of the game because before I was only seeing a sort of more serious, competitive side. And this is literally just people having fun doing the sport they love. And I just, I really do enjoy it. And as you can see in the suggested, there's a part three, there's a part four. I'll be sure to see them. I'll probably wait maybe a few days again, but I'm going to do other baseball reactions as well. Just suggest what sort of things you want to see, because, man, this sort of stuff is fun. And I just enjoy, I just enjoy, like, reacting to your sport. And I'm really just enjoying learning and sort of, like, actually, like, starting to enjoy it as well. But, yo, hope you guys enjoy. Till next time, like, subscribe, and peace.